What sequel was better than the first movie? The Dark Knight. That's a great one because Batman Begin was really good but Dark Knight was a masterpiece. Thor Ragnarok. The first one was boring. The second was forgettable. But they got that crazy Kiwi to direct the third one and that movie was amazing. Further, I contend Ragnarok is the most rewatchable film in all of the MCU. I am not saying it is the best movie, but the most enjoyable movie across multiple viewings. Shrek 2. It was everything Shrek 1 had but more. Shrek had all-star. Shrek 2 had holding out for a hero. T2. What is amazing is that T2 came out like 8 years after the first one. T1 was a great 80s movie and T2 was a great 90s movie. Captain America, The Winter Soldier is a little better than the first Avenger in my opinion. I feel like Winter Soldier is good for any movie, not just a comic book movie, but it would stand apart as a spy, action mystery film is sure it's one of my FS4 right films. Asterisk The Rescuers Down Under Asterisk Spider-Man 2 Tobey Maguire was gold Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Agreed, it's so much more empty Star Trek 2 Wrath of Khan Mad Max The sequel to the sequel to the sequel is the best X2 X-Men United Superhero films in general pull it off better than most other genres due to structural issues there is a lot of world building in the first film, including the hero origin story. X-Men did a lot of work establishing mutants. The X-Men, their abilities, their headquarters, their foes, and their place in the world. Once all that was out of the way, the second film had much more time to fully develop a full X-Men story. The Nightcrawler intro is awesome. Terminator was great, but T2 was fucking amazing. Everything about it? The Godfather Part 2. It was so good that Coppola could have split this movie in two and had both win Best Picture. World War II in color. Kung Fu Panda 2. Captain America. The Winter Soldier. Instantly turned Captain America from the cringiest Avenger into the most awesome one. Take out the superhuman powers and you're still left with an awesome spy movie. Aliens. The original was a horror movie. The second was an action movie. 100%. Alien is top-tier horror sci-fi along with a thing. Aliens takes what we already know and just amplifies how chaotic things can get. But the slow burn of discovery of watching the original Alien is just so elegantly paced. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. I'll never move on from the rhino scene. Oh look, it as the Monopoly guy. 22 Jump Street is incredible. 21 is way better than it had any right to be which is usually a sign the sequel will be a phoned in. Cash grab where the jokes are. At best, stale repeats of the first. See Anchorman 2 for example. 22 Jump STS entire meta spin is that it's just an exact repeat of the first with a bigger budget. And it takes the fourth wall self-referencing to a ridiculous level. And of course the fake sequel chronology at the end is just the cherry on top. I think I still like the first a little bit better however the best scene of all the movies is. Without a doubt, when Janko realizes Schmidt fucked the captain's daughter. The ticking of the egg timer sound and the ding. Amazing. Empire Strikes Back. I don't know if it counts. But Tron. Legacy. Way better than the original Tron. Though probably because of its time. Better editing and special effects. Fucking love Tron. Legacy. I want another feature length Daft Punk music video. Shame they won't ever let them score a sequel if they ever make another film. Batman Returns. Michelle Pfeiffer in black latex. Danny DeVito. Penguins wearing jetpacks. Christopher Walken. Divine Feminine Wrath. Doomed Romance. A soundtrack by Danny Elfman. Neon in the living room is your. Okay these are all great points. But Jack Nicholson is Joker with a face point over his bleached white skin. And the dumb dance number in the museum is your look I love Heath Ledger Joker as a character. But Jack Nicholson really nailed my interpretation of Joker. 
The Silence of the Lambs both the movie and the book are superior sequels. I always forget that it's the sequel but my god it outshines Red Dragon. Both book and both movies. Movie wise. I'd hardly consider it a sequel though. It's not connected to Manhunter. And Red Dragon came out later as a prequel. May get shit for this but I thought Rocky 2 was better than the first not to mention Rocky 4 being the greatest cinematic feat of all time. Rocky IV is the undisputed champ of the series. Lord of the Rings. You talking Two Towers or Return of the King? Lord of the Rings was a sequel to The Hobbit. I mean, technically, if the Star Wars prequels can be called prequels, L.O.T.R. can be called sequels. I can't help but love Fellowship the most The Shire. Getting introduced to the characters. The Adventure. The sense of wonder. And that nostalgic masterpiece soundtrack. I thought Harry Potter 3 was way e better than 1 and 2. 1 and 2 were just my least favorite from the entire series. It was a better movie from an acting and cinematography perspective. Had a great look and score but it was a way worse adaptation of the story. So much necessary information is missing. Greater than so much necessary information is missing. I often hear people say this, but I also know several people that have just watched the movies and have never really had this problem as hero like. What is it exactly that the movie is missing that is necessary for the story? The story being told in the movies, not the books. I'm not claiming there aren't any plot holes or anything in the movies. It's just personally I've never really noticed on watching the movies. And every non-book reader I know haven't either. Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 is a masterpiece. Evil Dead 2 is groovy. FTFY. Army of Darkness for me. Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. I have never disagreed with a movie opinion as much as I disagree with this one. Empire Strikes Back. Bad Boys 2. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Hellboy 2. The Golden Army. Thor, Ragnarok, Revenge of the Sith, Good Good, Hashtag DEWIT, Prequel Memers Rise Up, Pretty much all the Toy Stories, I didn't have many expectations for 4, but that one was genuinely amazing, along with the others, I really didn't like 4 personally, I felt like 3 was the perfect send off so 4 seemed like a cash grab to me, same, it also felt like there were no stakes, and it was basically Woody doing stuff and occasionally, oh and here's everyone else. Paddington 2. I saw the first one and I heard they were making a second. How could they possibly make it better than the first? Asked I. Then they went and did it. I still love both of them. But the second had just a little more fun with it. Both are just so much fun that it's something that I could always put on when I'm bored. Sister Act. I respectfully disagree, but I am glad that Sister Act is getting some love. Both movies are good. Bad Boy 2 and Rush Hour 2. Aliens. Blade Runner 2049. That's a hot take. I love, love 2049 but I don't know if I could say it beats the original I would say it's so close that. 2049 is definitely better than the theatrical version of the original but maybe not the final cut. LOL. Ghostbusters 2 The Dark Knight Evil Dead 2 Paddington 2 Well, I've never seen anyone claim that Ghostbusters 2 is better than the original. Paddington OMG I am 25 years old and I love that movie. Part 2 made my heart crack. Catching Fire The Hunger Games was a great adaption and a wonderful movie. In all honesty it should have had the same fate as the Divergent movies but the studio did the fans justice by hiring extremely talented filmmakers and actors. Catching Fire could have been a boring repeat of the first movie. Government oppression, rumblings of revolution, and, of course, entering the arena. However, the movie was incredible, perfect pacing, incredible writing, and, most importantly, engaged me in every single scene. I knew what was happening but I was still gasping and sitting on the edge of my seat. 22 Jump Street, How to Train Your Dragon 3, great finale to a great trilogy which got better with each film Monsieur. 
TMNT2, Secret of the Ooze is better than the first movie. Go Ninja Go Ninja Go Go Ninja Go Ninja Go. High point of Vanilla Ice's career. You are smoking crack. Right, Ooze is a but 1990 trillion Mongolian Tugrix is basically perfect. Facts. Just watch the other day it can confirm that TMNT2 is still all amazing. Gremlins 2. I thought for sure I'd be the only one to say this. I love this movie, but when I bring it up in conversation most people respond with there was a Gremlins 2. Quote, Gremlins 2 was a very different type of movie. It was great for what it was. No doubt, but it definitely had a different vibe. For me, I enjoyed the original more because of those differences. The blend of horror and humor felt absolutely perfect. The second Pirates of the Caribbean. If only it had been the last one. I honestly love the third one. Catching Fire. Back to the Future 2. Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm not a big fan of Frozen, but I thought Frozen 2 was better than the first one. I love both, but I'm grateful to Frozen 2 for bringing more normal people to the fandom to filter out those who ship incest. I enjoyed Frozen but Frozen 2 brought in a plot that was interesting for people that understand plot lines and enjoy a good plot. The first one was made more for kids and to be catchy and to sing along to. They made Frozen 2 for the parents and not as young kids as it didn't have the catchy songs in. More simple plot, The Devil's Rejects, The Purge, Anarchy, actually exploring a city rather than being stuck in one location really added so many more options. For that movie, Terminator 2, Hashtag ILL Be Back, Dark Knight, The Empire Strikes Back T2, Judgment Day, The Road Warrior, The Godfather Part 2, Wrath of Khan, Dread, ESB, Empire Strikes Back, Spider-Man 2, Emo, Princess Diaries 2, I know they were originally books, but since I never read the books and hadn't hear of them until I was like 17, I'm sticking with my choice. The first movie moved slowly for me, and the only interesting characters were Clarice, Joe, and Mia in that movie. The second movie had a more interesting plotline, even if mildly cliché. But it was a well-done cliché. All the characters interested me. And it was outstanding to see Mia get to be queen without getting married. Taking the law down at her own wedding. Clerks 2. Jumanji was wonderful but the sequel was hilarious and clever. Jack Black trying to be a sexy woman was very funny. The Mission Impossible movies keep getting better. I still will think MI4 is my favorite. The last couple have been great entries but Ghost Protocol just hits all of the marks for me. Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan was infinitely better than Star Trek, The Motion Picture. Break in 2, Electric Boogaloo. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs 2. It was more interesting. The plot was much more detailed. The characters were introduced more. It was more colorful. Just better in my opinion. Wow I disagree with this one lol. The second one felt like a weird hyper childish sugar rush. Whereas the first was super charming and had a cute story. Toy. Story. 2. Nuff said. Empire Strikes Back. Every Pixar sequel except Toy Story 4. Cars 2. It took a very different path than expected, but it was still good. Kung Fu Panda 2. I'll die on this hill. Star Wars. Godfather, Terminator, Mad Max, Star Trek, Spider-Man, X-Men, Captain America, Batman Begins, The Conjuring, Evil Dead, Edit, I listed the original movies. So the sequels were Empire, Godfather 2, T2, Road Warrior, Khan, Spider-Man 2, X2, Winter Soldier, Dark Knight, Conjuring 2, Evil Dead 2, Spider-Man 2 How to Train Your Dragon 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yes, thank you. I didn't really like the first one but Guardians 2 is probably my favorite MCU movie. Shrek 2, Deadpool 2, Superman 2, Bride of Frankenstein, Madagascar, Escape to Africa They really bumped up the King Julian in that movie. 
Guardians of the Galaxy 2 changed my mind. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.